Move that there. So this is going to be, I'm going to completely butcher these names. Mao Ruilong versus Shure Yue. <laughs> I'm sure I butchered, uh, sure butchered that. But uh, anyway, it's um, Ruilong versus Yue. So we'll see how this goes. And for those of you who don't know, Shure Yue is really, really strong. He's really, really famous too. He is ranked number two in China and number five in the world. Well, let's see if we can find uh, Mao Rulong. That sounds Chinese, so I'm presuming it's Chinese. That one is, I have no idea, because I can't find them. So likely not in the top 20. Okay, I don't see him. Okay, but anyway, um, it's a four down pro versus a nine p. So my expectations are that Shiryu is going to win because he's really strong, and I don't think I know Mal Rui long. I don't. Maybe they're a new player. Maybe they're up and coming. Or maybe they're old and outdated. I don't know. I don't know who this player is. I don't see him in the top rankings, and I know Shiryu is really, really strong and really, really good in the world. Really, one of the top players in the world. So my assumption is he's going to win. But we're going to see how it goes. Because uh, we did just see in the last game that a low-ranked player beat a very high-ranked player. So the ranks don't matter too much, guys. It matters on how they play. But uh, performance-wise, I think Shiryu A has a better record, probably. All right, so he's black. And we are going to get to see um, a normal opening. So it looks like Kobayashi or Chinese. Ooh, high Chinese with the approach. Very nice combination. I haven't seen this one in a while, actually. I haven't seen high Chinese in a while. I probably uh, should study more than. Okay, and the normal variations here, and let's just see if they play it. Yeah, so this is all normal. If you don't know this, then you need to study the latest Chinese variations. Oh, I'm surprised he's doing this immediately. Uh, normally, you would go here. This is the normal variation. However, white's being really aggressive. By playing this way, living in the corner, and then immediately cutting. Right? And then uh, taking Black's Liberties. So this is a very, very aggressive way to play. And it's very interesting to see. We're going to see how Shiryue handles it. Okay, just plays here. Threatens the Cutting Stone. Um, and my assumption is that uh, when White Nobis, he's going to defend. White's going to jump back, and he's probably just going to kill it. And just for a note in the corner, this is about the... Uh, uh, five, six, seven points in the corner. Okay, free Atari. It's fine. And jump back. And Tanuki. So I think what he's considering is either this. Uh, no. I think. <laughs> I think. I think. I think. I think. Uh, I think he's saying that this is overplay for White right now, be or not really worrying about it right now because. Uh, White doesn't have time to come over here and fix all this because he'll be under a lot of pressure here. And if he runs away here, then Black has so many forcing moves up, or so many moves up here and forcing moves here that Black's going to be okay. That's my assumption here. All right, so he doesn't get the Kobayashi. So we're going to see how White handles his major influence. White has seven points here, probably about five points here. We're going to say about five points in this corner. So it's already about 17 points. However, this major influence... Uh, for black is going to be very, very uh, interesting. So white goes in, which is expected. And jump back here. So I would expect something like here and going here. But he chose to jump back first. This means he's likely leaving open a move like this later. Right? So let's see what black does. Will he just take the corner? Nope, he's going to steal the base. Okay. White runs away. So it looks like uh, White's going to play Sabaki here and then leave S2 or something like S2 later for the points. So probably he just didn't want to give Black the, the points here. He or she. I don't know if that's a guy or girl's name. Um, but probably they didn't want to give uh, Black the points here for free. So they chose the Sabaki. However, Black did get five, six, seven, at least uh, seven points here. And probably at least... Uh, 10 to 12 points here, maybe 13 or 14 points here. So it looks like around 20 points, give or take, right? And we saw the white had 17 plus Comey, which is 23 and a half. But this, with this weak group, 
uh, Black's not exactly uncomfortable. Like in the last game, I said uh, it looks like White's winning. Well, this game, I don't think White's winning. I think it's pretty even. If anything, Black's controlling the flow of the game, which would put Black slightly ahead or feels slightly ahead, but it's too hard to evaluate this influence, so can't say it yet. We're going to see how this goes, though. So he does take the immediate territory. So now he does have that territorial lead. So he does have a territorial lead. Uh, and we're going to see how White handles this. Okay, he chooses to fight in this area now. All right, and runs away. So now let's see what did Black read? What did Black say he was going to use as his defense for when White came out here? And it looks like he's going to play here to get some shape. Oh, White's just going to let him make shape and try to connect his groups up. So it looks like White's plan uh, was to try and cut off and attack this group in Sente in order to get support for these three stones because Black attacking these three stones would be very severe in this area. All right. Uh, hmm. If I know my Asians, I would say ignore this, but there's no way on earth I would ever fight this cow. Let's see if he does. Nope. Okay. I don't know my Asians then. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's no way I would fight this. Normally, if it was just a co, I would be okay with it. Oops, not what the no. Uh, if it was just a just a regular co, I'd be okay with it. But uh, with this type of thinking, uh, there's no way you can do it. Right. So I was thinking maybe Black would make an exchange up here potentially first, or maybe try to fix this and then try to fight a co or something. I don't know. As uh, normally you can you can think maybe pros are thinking about this kind of crazy thinking, but there's no way on earth I would leave that. So it looks like he cho he agreed and said no, that's just too much. So we just fix. All right now White fixes. So White's almost okay, but not completely. But I don't like Black shape either. So I think Black's still going to defend. He does with an Atari. Now will he play here or will he defend over here? Ooh, very, very fast paced and very powerful. So this move is not something I'd expect normally. Normally I'd expect something up here to make shape. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, they can be very, very, very like dangerous, very scary. Uh, and I just, I usually can't follow it, but uh, there's, I just can't fight as well as they can. I can't uh, judge their fighting as well as they can. Anyway, um, if it were me, I'd play more simply and just defend, or maybe make some shape here first, and then try and get back and defend. But Black said, no, forget all of that. I'm going to defend myself while attacking this group. And this is a very strong and very powerful idea. Uh, now, White's probably going to try to resist or try and get Sente or something. Uh, so let's see what White chooses to do. White does try to resist. Black goes up, and White just says, I'm just going to fix myself and leave you weak. <laughs> Black's just like, no, you're not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere, good sir. You are going to live on the inside, and I'm going to get this influence and save myself while attacking you. White tries to make shape and test Black's connection. Black says, yep, I'm, I'm going to, uh, of course, defend myself from the strong side. Not just going to uh, let you come up and just cut me so easily because White is a bit stronger than Black here. So this cut would be very good for white. However, black knows that, and so he just plays very lightly. It plays here. And this is also a very nice combination because this cut is slowly uh, becoming of no value for white to play because the more stones black gets here, uh, the more defense this cut has and the less, uh, less valuable it becomes for white. So black is just easily defending this, easily defending this group. So I think I think Black probably got a little bit more than uh, what I would normally expect. So I think Black probably fought very effectively there. However, White did get several points, but now there's this big weak group for Black to just take advantage of. Um, so this move I think was very very powerful for Black. I really like it. All right, we're gonna see. Uh, yep, this is kind of an expected move. It's the kind of the only way to attack here. Anything else, like a knight's move or something, there's just too many cutting points to try. So you would probably start here, usually. Mm -hmm. All right, keep pushing. Uh, or are you going to defend the cut now? 
Hmm. What would I do? Uh. Good question. I'm not sure. I think you can keep pushing because it looks like white's too weak with against these three stones to cut. So I think I would keep pushing. All right, I caught it right. Sweet. So it looks like black is too thick for white to cut directly. All right, white hanes. Uh This is a nice little thing because you can't get too greedy here. There is a lot of cutting points. So now it's becoming a little bit annoying for black. So this Hani might be just enough resistance that black can't punish it, but it's also helping white in the most effective way possible. So what black does defend, now white probably defends, yep. Uh, all right, so black completely saved his group. So let's reevaluate the board. We said white had seven here, about five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 here. Uh, so that's uh, 19 and then about five here, so 24. Then uh, about five here, at least, maybe seven. So let's say about six, just in case. Uh, so 30, then 36 and a half because of Comey. Uh, here's going to be seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, at least. This is going to be around 10 because the Hane's annoying. So this is gonna be about 10. So 26 for black, and then about four or five here. But we, we know that pros like their influence, so. Um, so 20, so 32 for black. We said white had what? Um, I always forget the numbers. What, 36 for black Ascente. Um, I want to say black's ahead. I want to say black's ahead. The reason I want to say that is because while I think white has four more points than black, black has this area and this area that is undecided, which he's probably going to gain profit in at least one of these, and white doesn't have one of those areas. White doesn't have an area that's probably going to get profit in. So I think black's going to be ahead by a few points. So if we even counted one of these as six, then black would be up by two, and black has sente as well as influence, and white does not. So I want to say black's up by maybe two approximately and he also has sente so i like black black going for okay i like this idea so i was thinking maybe go here and push my influence even further with something like this however there's aji here there's weakness here and if we look at my questions on my website that i i've written myself it's fix your weaknesses first before playing a big move there's weaknesses here so Black fixes it, and I didn't think of this, but I should have, right? I should know this because it's my own like basic steps, but it's so simple yet yeah, so effective. He's not just fixing with some normal move either. He's actually fixing in a very effective way because he's getting points while fixing this Aji in kind of a Sente kind of way. So it's very, very effective. All right, and he's going to play here. So he's... So here, there's a an option to trade the corner and give white some stuff here, or white gets a very small corner. I think white's gonna take the outside. Oh, or not, okay. So black just chooses to fix here and just reduce the corner. Now, will he keep playing? I think after all this, he will keep, he'll play maybe one more, maybe here. Mm, it seems very valuable. This move also looks big though, but there's still Aji here. So I think, Probably play one more. And all right, cool. So play one more, fix before going somewhere else. And that's a lot of points, guys. That is a lot of points. And white still only got his five, but black got uh, 10, 12, 13 points. So white needs to get something in exchange for sure. So white goes and destroys this area and says, okay, you got one, but I'm gonna destroy the other. Black, <laughs> black just not taking it without a fight. He's like, yeah, you think you're going to do that. You think it's simple, and nope. Oh, this is so, so strong. Um, is that group going to be okay? Uh, I th think so. Maybe push once. Oh, push once here. Okay. Yeah, that'd do it. 
Uh huh. I think black's okay. Actually, I think this is worth playing regardless, but he wants to attack the stone, right? Oh, it's so big. Uh, I think attack the stone, I guess. Wow. Um, did not expect that. Did not expect that. So black's just gonna say, nope, I'm fixing everything. And I'm just gonna keep my lead. Just keep my lead. And white says, okay, now you're getting too many points. I need some points too, right? Uh, so white plays here and gets his own points. So let's reevaluate 10, 12, 14, 14 for black here. This is gonna be five, uh, 10, 13 for bla black here. Uh, still probably about 10 for black here. So that's 23, um, 33, 36, uh, and then maybe about five points here. So uh, 41 for black. And white has 10, 6, 8, 20, 22, 23, maybe about 23, give or take, up here, approximately 23. Five here, so that puts them at 28. And then about five, six here, if that, because of all the Aji. So let's say five there, and then seven there. So that's 12. Um, we said 28 plus 12 is going to be 36, no, 28 plus 12, 30, 40, 40 plus 5 is 45, then homie, 51 and a half. Mm, it seems like, it seems like white's up by 10. However, black has an easy move here that makes uh, like 11 points, if not more. Black has some good follow-ups here to make a few more points in almost sente. And Black's influence here is of undetermined value. So I don't think Black's losing by 10. So we're going to see how Black follows this up. Uh, Black plays here. Oh, so powerful. So strong. Um, and I think Black's ahead. I think Black's way ahead. Uh yeah, why why has coming? Why has coming? White's coming should be six point a half. Uh-huh. Alright, so how is this gonna play? Hey Cosmic Nana, no problem. So it looks like black is just gonna try and get some forcing moves to get this move. So it looks like maybe here, here, and then here. Just to get some forcing moves. Nope. I was wrong. He's gonna fight it out. Yeah, sure, UA is kind of dominating. Uh, you should have seen the last game. It was completely one-sided. Like, even more so than this one. Uh-huh. Uh just nobody down? Nope. No. He just will not take this sitting down. He's not going to let White get out of here so easily. Oh, crap. I was thinking he can, there was some Aji here, but... The Liberties, oh man, oh man, this is so good for Black. That is so painful. White well, did get the corner though, and Black has Sentai. White well, did get that corner though, so that is something. That is definitely something. Uh, but that looks so big for Black, and I think Black had at least 10 points there. So I think uh, Black should be up by a few. Black should be up by a few. All right, White goes here. Uh, shoulder hit? Oh, there. Oh, attack! Of course! Attack if you can attack. I didn't even think about this attack. And how do you find this move, guys? Well, it's the table shape for white. So, your opponent shapes my shape. Where my opponent shapes my shape. So he goes here to attack. And the attack, of, cor of course, is the best way to develop the Moyo if, if it works. If you can attack and develop your Moyo while attacking, then attack. I was expecting kind of a shoulder hit or something, though. Or maybe something like this. Uh, to develop the center, but no, he said, nope, you ignored me, I'm going to attack. And white's like, no, your center's getting too big, I need to do something about it. And black goes in for the powerful assault. Uh, I'm wondering why he went here instead of just the diagonal here. Maybe he thought this was, uh, maybe he just wants the forcing moves? Oh, white played here. Okay, so what is wrong with this, guys? What is wrong with this one? Is it this?
maybe I think it's this. I think it's this. I think it's this the Suji. Because white would have to then go up. And then here. This looks good for white, so don't do that. Actually, actually, instead of that, go here. What am I going to take? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think there's a lot of Aji here, but I'm not sure how to play it properly. Maybe start here. This looks cool. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's the best. That's probably better. Uh, I, I think there's there was Aji with something like this. This is why I didn't like it. So black jumps back. White goes to live. Black taking the influence, completely fixing his shape, and not and sealing white in the corner. This is this looks sente as well. Sente. Oh no, no, not not sente, not sente. Hold on. So white ignored. Let's look locally. If black plays here, how do you live? <laughs> how do you live? I'm pretty confident this can't live. But even if you do that, I can just take the eyes, right? So white has to. White's just threatening things bigger than that corner first. Okay, so I was just making making moves. I think he probably was making moves to read the corner and try to find something or evaluate the board or something. I don't know. I'm not sure what he was doing. Could be time to Suji's. All right, and black plays here. Is this corner alive? Should be. It's not? Yeah, it is. Okay, so here, 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 right? Problem is, these stones are blacks and sente, which is too big, right? So white's gonna fight the cow. So that's why white was doing that. He was wanting to read and figure out how to, he was probably counting the co-threats. Wow. Uh, I, actually, I don't know, I don't know. Because this looks so good for black. Oh, that sucks. So bad for white. That's so painful. Ew. Empty triangle. I mean, if it works, it works, right? But, ew. Uh, but it works. Okay, whatever. All right, this looks like a preparation for a co or end game. What? Wow. Okay. So Black makes a bunch of forcing moves, creates as much Aji as possible, and then plays this move, utilizing every bit of Aji in that area and looks like he's going to completely take advantage in this area. White, I think, is pretty hopeless at this point, unless he does something. So we got to see where is white going to resist that. White's got to resist somewhere, right? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I was going to show you guys, but I figured he'd just play it. Um, so if here, right? And let's say anywhere in here. There's all these forcing moves. Option one. Option one. Um, there's also Oh, 
All the IG. All the IG. Bend here. Can I get away with it? No, can't get away with that. Can't get away with that. Mm. So what's the plan here? Play here. Is that enough? Probably enough. That's probably enough. Uh huh. Told you that was probably enough. Uh, so he plays this way. Versus is most valuable. Now black threatens. How can white win? Like, where's white gonna go, guys? Okay, I feel like there's some deep reading here that I'm missing because this with this follow-up means there's probably a sequence that white likely missed the black sees. Let's see what it is. Oh, wow. That to Sudi. Oh, wow, that sucks. He just got cut instead of all of Vlog's influence. Is there a way out of this? I don't see one. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I told you that move had a combination for some reason that White didn't see. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> I told you there was a combination. There was somewhere. You could just, you could smell it because uh, there's a peep and then a complete ignore that has nothing to do with the peep. So likely there's a variation that has something to do with the peep that only a 9 pro would see. And that was it. That was impressive. Oh, man. Uh, so now it has to connect here. Or just live. Okay, live with one. Even so even if you kept me, doesn't matter. All right, so Black was able to completely destroy these points. Uh, he has a potential cut here now as well. And remember, Black had more points. Mm -hmm. And now Black's just easily leading this game. So how does white win, guys? How does white win? Now I play pro level end game. That's pretty big. You can just cut through, I think. <laughs> Center is small. These moves big. Mm hmm So I think it's just going to be a straight up uh, victory for black because I don't see anywhere that white made up the difference. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I may have been completely wrong. Game info. <gasps> white won by resignation. That means white's ahead by a few points. Okay. Where did that happen? Where did that happen? Okay, let's let's first count the game. Let's count and then figure out where it happened. Cause I thought Black was ahead for a long time. Okay, so six, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Okay, <laughs> twenty-eight, five, six, seven. Okay, so twenty-eight, seven, thirty-five. Uh, 40, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, um, 48, yeah, 48, um, so 48 for white plus Comey, 54 and a half, black has 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So black has around 50. And what did I say white had? So black has 50. And what did I say white had? I had like 50, 54 and a half. So black's down by like four or five. Yeah, black's down by like four or five. Okay, where did that happen? Um, So that's a lot of points there. I expect it. I didn't count that many points for white there. So that's a lot of points. So here instead of here. Why not here? Why not here? Let's try and figure that out. So here, here. That's an obvious cut. Right? But instead, black chose to go here. But he didn't get this value over here. That's what I'm so confused about. Why would black choose to play here instead of playing here? What is wrong with this move? What is wrong with this move? I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know, guys. What is wrong with this move? This seems like black would win if he just plays here. Uh... I... I want to say there's a reason, because he's a 9 down pro, right? I don't want to say he made a mistake. But until I find that reason, this looks like a mistake to not play this move. To play here instead of here, it looks like a mistake. Um, so, and t I don't see the reason why, right? But... If we look at the follow-ups, white played here, black has, and black said he has to respawn, and then white fixed, right? So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that black didn't see that this was Sente. And if he plays here, let's see, what's the follow-up? Here? I guess. Actually, don't take your own liberties. Here. Here. That's got to be it. Um, so black can die. Because if th that thinking is correct, then he would say, if white plays here, I'm going to cut and this group is now weak, which makes this move make sense, right? Because now this group's in a lot of trouble. 
And that makes this move make sense because this move attacks this group. And if white chooses to fix, then black can play here and get these, and he just got a free move in the center and sente, which is very valuable, right? So I'm thinking black missed the fact that this was sente. Because I cannot fathom that this move is bigger than this move unless he said unless he made the mistake of this move thinking this move wasn't Sentai. Because I just can't fathom the reason why he would play here instead of here. Um that's my thinking. Now of course I don't want to say he made a mistake, but I can't see the reason why he played here. So Unless you guys can show me why he made it, why this move is bigger or why this move is important, I'm pretty sure Black made a mistake until someone can show me wrong, right? Because I can't find the reason why. Normally, you don't say a pro made a mistake, right? And I'm I'm agreeing with that. I don't want to say Black made a mistake, but I just cannot see it. I don't see it, guys. I see it. So I wonder if he did make a mistake. I go, I wonder if legitimately he didn't see that this was Sente. Because that would be very interesting, because I was convinced he was winning up to here. I was convinced, because all of those moves, Super Sente, and then he was losing. Yeah, I have my own opinions of certain moves. But I'm weaker than a pro. It means my opinions are likely wrong, but I don't know why. But if I didn't have opinions, then I couldn't play the game, right? Because I have to think, this move's good, this move's bad. I have to be able to trust my reading, and I have to trust my own judgment. Otherwise, I can't play the game. Now, it should be taken, guys, that if I say something, it's not that it is correct or is not correct. It's, this is my level thinking, right? It's not saying that the pros are worse than me it's not saying that the pro that i'm better i can see the pros mistakes it's saying i think uh, uh these moves are like this because this is my understanding or this is my level of thinking right here i'm thinking that sure you made a mistake because he didn't see this was sente because i can't see the reason that this is better than this that's my level right that's it's not saying that he did make a mistake in saying, I don't see why he would not play that. So I think it's a mistake, but I don't see why I wouldn't. Uh, if it's not a mistake, I don't see why, because that's my level, right? But that's interesting. That is so interesting. Because I see nothing wrong with this move. <laughs> I see nothing wrong with it. To me, this just looks like he wins. What do you guys think? Is it a mistake or is it not a mistake? What do you guys think? Oh man, that's so interesting. That is so interesting. That's so funny. It makes sense too. Like, uh, that argument. Because. Did the stream freeze? Did the stream freeze? Um, but still, but still, but still, but still, um, I think, again, I, I think, think that, uh, when he played this move, he had already read this out, right? 
He'd already read this out. Um, and when, and he didn't see that this move made this move sente. That's that's my feeling. I feel like that's the reason. I feel like that's what happened. That he didn't see that this made this sente. Because I just can't understand it otherwise, right? So let's see. Without without this move, let's say White did something generic or something and just said, "Hey, I'm gonna live. I live." What does White do? Does this still work? Oops, <laughs> not that. Let's say I play here, here, here. Does this still work? So obviously this variation. Uh, now he just lifts. Because now white can't play down, right? Yeah, it's got to be because he didn't see it. I got it. I'm convinced of it. I'm convinced of it, guys. Because I think he didn't see that S2 made this connection sente. I'm just convinced of it. I'm convinced that's what happened. I'm convinced of it. Because I just don't see why this has been bigger than this move. I think all he had to do was take and uh, he's got it. Because even if white plays this one, right? Even if white plays this one, he just uh, fixes. Or just takes or whatever. Doesn't matter. Just takes. Uh, there's still no connection. So I think he still wins. And I think he just made a mistake right at the end, right when he was about to win. I'm convinced of it, guys, because I don't see any other reason why. I don't see any other reason. But I think he just didn't see that S2 made the connection set day. Oh, and that's so painful too. That's so painful. And then he just has to play endgame and now he's behind. Because he didn't get that. I think the reason was he was relying... Because up to here, um, he's been playing. And if he played something like this instead... Uh, and then did something, let's say something generic. I'm not going to play good moves, okay? Don't quote these moves. Don't think these moves are good. Let's just say something generic, right? And just attacked. He could develop points in Sente here. But instead of getting this, no, it's resignation. Instead of getting this, he chose to make this combination and let White get this Panuki-ish shape in the center in order, in order to play this move. So he gave up all the potential here in order to get this cut, right? So I'm thinking he didn't, He up to here he said, okay, I'm ahead. And now I'm going to be able to kill these stones or something. And he gave up the points in order to get the points here. And then he made a mistake. And I think up to that, that would make sense on where he lost the lead. I'm just, I'm convinced, I don't see... Uh, anything else i don't see how uh this moves the right move unless he didn't see it unless someone could show me a variation that's what i think that's my level that's all i see i uh, know i was just reviewing games before going to bed i figured i'd let you guys join me join me while i review games before going to bed but uh that's so interesting that's so interesting <laughs> That's so interesting. I think he, I think he was easily gonna win, and then one little thing. He just uh, self reviewed for like hours. Hmm. Interesting. I'm planning to be on tomorrow, probably like tomorrow evening or something. Um, and I plan on, I'll play some games tomorrow, but uh, tonight I just wanted to review some games before going to bed. Oh, that's so interesting, guys. That's so interesting. All right. Do we want to look at one more, or am I good to go to bed? I want to look at one more, because that was, that's a cool game to end on, I think. That's a cool little thing to end on.